yeah. Okay, so... Alright, here we go. Pretty big matchup. Round two winners. Got Kenny, two uh, regulars. Kenny versus Timber. Just saw Kenny, uh, or just saw Timber, rather, win very convincingly versus a Yoshi. Uh, and Kenny Poo going Diddy in this matchup, not favoring Ness, even though that is his... His ride or die character usually. Uh, is it how strong is it? Uh, let me t tinker with that after this match. Okay. Uh, you should be good. Can you hear yourself? Oh, there you go. Sorry, I gotta. There we go. Oh man, this venue's so nice. The AC is amazing. Yeah. Shout out is. to the AC. But back into the match. So, pretty convincing lead. 50% on uh, Timber. Yeah. Oh, gets him with the last hit. Another offstage scenario. I don't know how this is going to play out. I've never. I don't think I've seen these guys play before. Yeah, and definitely a very different matchup to, than what we're used to seeing. Um, custom villager. This is just regular villager versus Diddy, so he doesn't have that sap plan that really uh, prevents Diddy from getting all those grabs. I wonder why he went Diddy in this matchup. Ness is usually his go-to character. <clears throat> Not only is it his most comfortable character, but it's a character that a lot of players are uncomfortable fighting because mm -hmm. uh, they don't know the matchup. Maybe he's just uh, starting. He just wants more turn experience on his Diddy Kong because there is Ma Ness does have some bad matchups. So yeah, he has more than a couple. Yeah. <clears throat> Ooh, and the up tilt. Just hitting. No subtlety right there. He just went in and went for it. Um, so it was a good sidestep by Timber. This is pretty close. Yeah, um, Kenny Poo's slowly starting to get a, a kill percentage here. Bowling ball will definitely close the stock, but um, a couple more percentage and Timber will be looking to kill. Oh, and that almost, oh man, that almost killed. <laughs> did you see MVDs today? Yeah. At PAX? Did you see that up B? Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was insane. Also, speaking of PAX, shoutouts to Dan M, who got top 32 at PAX. Oh, good stuff. Well done. Way to represent. And Kenny Fu's shield almost breaking from that tree. Ugh. Ooh, Ooh, beautiful back spaced. air. Back air is the go-to option now for Diddy yeah. if you want that random kill. Mm-hmm. Well, and plus, too, the, uh, the back air is not stale throughout the whole match. Diddy's don't usually use it to rack damage. More so just the forward airs used in the neutral game. I think, yeah, I think it's a player preference. I see Angel Cortez use it a lot for mm -hmm. damage, but those are like those Diddy's are usually the ones that like to set up forward smash kills. Right. And, uh, sorry, and up smash as well, obviously. Yeah, Ooh. I've seen Angel do, like, up throw, back air, back air, and like, it, it's pretty. Like, um, after the second back air, you're in, like, a really favorable position to keep it going. Okay, just grows the tree. All right, and so Timber is sitting at 39%. Let's see if he can close, this, close out the stock before he takes too much damage. Yeah, we shall see. And Diddy is definitely known for racking a lot of damage, um, especially off of grab. And Timber is putting Kenny Poon a lot Ooh. of these. Wow. Timber's putting a. Um, Kenny Poo in a lot of these situations off the stage, but he's not capitalizing too much. Um, he's just, it seems like Kenny Poo's just uh, monkey flipping right back onto the ledge for free. Yeah, he's looking... Doesn't look like he's too worried right now, even though he's in the deep red. Uh oh Okay, not the hardest punish, but he gets the damage. And we got Villager off stage. Oh! oh. Now, Kenny, Kenny's starting to run away with this match. Why did I expect that to kill him? <laughs> Oh, Kenny! No. He gets, he gets the damage, though. He gets the he, damage. He went. He went for the hardest of spikes. It's like no more exploding balloons means I could do that. He went very hard. Oh, grab release! Trying to go for the down smash follow, expecting maybe a jump. Yeah, villager not without his comeback factor though. He can. He can do this. Mm -hmm. It's just very hard for villager to come back when he's behind. Ooh. Oh, that's huge. Oh wow, that's a lot huge. of damage on the on those triple turn ups. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a free punish. Yep. yep. Ooh. Oh no! And Timber is staying very calm, 63%. He's doing work right now. This is, and he's starting to get that rage. 142, almost maxed out rage. For His rage Timber. is primed. Oh, yep. another bad guess by Kenny. Good reactions by Kenny there. He needed to get out of there and, and hit him. And Timber is just going, doing a really good job of capitalizing <gasps> off. Is that it? 
No way. Wow. I, I knew it. I had a feel. I had a feeling. <laughs> I had a feeling that was. Wow, was that, that, was, that was insane. Oh, wow. That, that throw is so strong. Holy crap. That was oop. Oh. <laughs> so, Tim, Timber just seemed like he got a lot of damage off like the situations where he was on the ledge. Yeah, he so did. So, he, he, was, he was doing, he, he got a lot of his damage off like that. Just kind of like waiting for Ken to throw out something and then just punishing um, accordingly. Yep. So, that was a good comeback by Timber. Let's that was a if, very good comeback. Let's see if Kenny will change and he's sticking he's with the monkey. Not. Okay, all in on Diddy Kong. This would be a really early trip to losers for Kenny. He is usually a top four contender. Yes. But Timber playing very well. Very nice up tilt right there by Timber. Oh my goodness. And um, shout out to that buff. Down throw getting buffed for Villager, right? Yes. So more of a combo throw. I know Villager sometimes can do like down throw and up air, down throw and affairs. It's definitely something that it seems that they've been moving in a direction towards. Uh, a lot of down throws have been buffed for combo purposes. Mm -hmm. uh, like like Robin and yeah stuff like I, that. For me, I, I think it's pretty good, but I hope they don't like just give everyone a combo throw. You know what I mean? Like I think it's cool that like okay, these guys combo off throws, these guys combo off something else. It's just more variety to the game instead of just like oh, we just want to grab each other. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call out some matches, so I'll All leave right. it. I'll leave it to you. Okay, so Timber in the driver's seat for this match with about a 20% lead. But Ken does get the grab, and he's constantly putting Timber in these off-stage scenarios. He just has to. Oh, and Timber does have the banana. I was kind of wondering why Ken wasn't using the banana last match, but yeah, I guess Timber had it the whole time. Oh, wow! No jump for Ken. So Timber very wisely refreshing the banana, getting smacked by an up smash, but not that's not gonna quite do it yet. And Diddy with no rage, this might be a while before. Oh my god, that was so much damage! I didn't even. Smashville is a starter. That was a starter stage, guys. Just just hitting it up right there. Wow, that was crazy. <laughs> Did you see that? So. The so Timber was um, jabbing Ken on the platform, and it was moving with him. So he was just keep it kept hitting him. Okay, so Timber on an offstage scenario again. Ooh, nice Trump. Oh, but he. Oh my goodness. So Timber with the 2-0. Oh, it's so unfortunate. So Ken, apparently what you're supposed to do is like. Sometimes, like, after you get hit, you throw an aerial out, and then you up B. So you don't go into, like, because the reason why that happens, yeah, the reason why that happens is because, like, the Diddy is, like, kind of, like, in hit stun or something like that.